What's going on people? Brew Raptor here. So today I wanted to talk about something that has been bothering me and something that has made not bothering me in general but something that's been bothering me about Tekken community and what Tekken is leading up to with his new DLC character especially when season 3 is coming out for in August uh, where, where we have definite confirmation that there either is going to be a DLC 3 or it's going to be season 3. So looking really forward to that, following, out, following up on Mark Julio's uh, post as well. If you guys don't know who Mark Julio is, he is a commentator for uh, Tekken. But he's the one who uh, mostly uh, helps out in the Tekken community a lot. So I'm just going to put up his um, tweet up here somewhere. You guys are going to see it. But yeah, on, on the recent video that I put up on Ogre, right? So, some people, um, I don't know why, but... I, some people really hate Ogre, like they don't want Ogre coming back to Tekken 7. I, I personally think that I don't have hate for any of the Tekken, Tekken characters, right? I don't have any favoritisms, I don't have any favorites, I don't favor, I'm don't. i not in favor of anyone. But here's the thing, why hate on characters that you get and that you don't get, right? So let's talk about Season 2 where people really wanted Lei and Julia back. So. The fans obviously got what they wanted. They got they got Lei and they got Julia. They got Armor King as well, and they got Negan. So Murdoch, Murdoch as well. So they got uh, the characters that they didn't want as well. But here's the funny thing: people did not use most of Lei, and people did not use people did not use Lei, or uh, people did not use Julia. And uh, director of uh, Tekken at the time, uh, Katsura Harada, who is now the uh, lead producer, head. Uh, head leader or the main 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 guy for Bandai Namco uh, was not quite pleased as people really wanted him to bring Lei back and he did he did bring Lei back and he was really upset and, and he made a comment as well like th this started going around in the Tekken community as well when uh, it, it's it, it, it later became a jo uh, like a funny thing but his words were like don't ask me for shit right I don't know if he said that before or after, but I think but he, somewhere down the line he said that. Don't ask me for shit. Because Katsura Harada was really mad uh, when he knew that Lei was not as being used or the character uses of that character was really low. So yeah, br br bringing... Uh, and, and as far as uh, the facts for uh, dead characters not making back in Tekken 7 goes, it's, it's, it's false. Like, uh, according to me, that's utter crap. I mean, if if uh, Katsura Harada thought that uh, dead character shouldn't be back in Tekken 7, uh, why did he bring back, uh, let's say, who, who was dead in Tekken 6 uh, or, Tekken, or in, in any of the previous Tekken characters? Um, or even or even the clone characters, I, I can't remember on top of my head. But I think there there is at least one dead character, uh, at least one or two dead characters in Tekken 7 in the roster. So Tekken characters don't remain dead. Uh, th there was uh, there are comments on the recent um, the Armor King with no, Armor King the Ogre video which I put out. I'm just gonna read a few of them, but it's not like I'm I'm targeting you guys or I'm, I'm just, it's just my personal opinion. I just wanted to put this out there as well. So uh, let me just quickly read it out. So well, uh, mo some it's like 50-50, right? So, uh, you guys like him, some guys don't like him. So yeah, let, let me look up. FPS says there is no chance of Armor King returning back. FPS. There might be a chance, but it's a legacy character after all, and Ogre wasn't used very much, so he, he might want to, he might be one of the returning characters. Uh, but but here's the thing, Harada or Michael Murray could give two fucks about bringing dead characters or not or listening to their fans now. I mean, if they did listen to their fans or if they if they wanted to listen to their fans and uh, would like uh, basically uh, get in favoritism of the fans. Why did they put in unknown characters like Noctis, Geese, or Akuma? They would have asked the fans first for these characters to be in the game, right? And since they added the uh, these three characters in the game, especially Noctis, who was, who was really user-friendly, people are using him a lot right, compared to the other legacy characters he put in there because of the fans asked them. Harada didn't ask for, uh, for uh, these new characters to be in there, he randomly put them in. Negan, for example, no one expected Negan to be there. How is he there? Harada did not listen to the fans. It was, it was Michael Murray actually who, it was actually Michael Murray who uh, uh, pitched this idea to uh, Harada on 
say uh, bringing Negan into the game. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Characters don't die in any of the games. And then coming up to Tafeta Nafeta, who is a really, uh, who's a really good uh, Jun uh, main, by the way. Uh, Jun main, by the way. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said. I thought I said something wrong. But he he, he really likes Jun. Uh, I can see by his passion for me on his co many comments on my videos saying that I want Jun. I want Jun. I want Jun. Yeah, Jun is really fun. Jun is really fun. Jun, Jun, Jun also deserves to be in somewhere in uh, the Tekken Seven roster as she is the mother of uh, Jun or uh, Jin. Sorry. Uh, basically, it was not confirmed that she died per se, but she, she, she might be alive, but we could see that she disappeared, she came back, then she kind of vanished like particles into the air or whatever. But yeah, uh, Tafeta says, uh, Tafeta is always, always want Jun, so <laughs> Tafeta, I know you want Jun. Hopefully we get her. Uh, next we go to Thunder Thunder. He says Ogre is cool. Now this, uh, now Thunder Thunder likes ogres. See, this is what I'm talking about. People like ogre. People don't like ogre. I don't know why. That's a big hate. Because was ogre really cheesy, or was he not fun to use, or was he really, really overpowered? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I've only played ogre in Tekken 3 and Tekken Tag. And te I didn't play him Tekken Tag too, so I wouldn't know. I just saw some videos of him. But yeah, and and then there is this one big. Uh, comment was this is this was the whole reason for me making this video today there was this that this whole uh, big comment uh, commented today actually when i woke up i saw i woke up the first thing in the morning and i saw this comment it's by unknown warrior you know what he says he says that i think ogre should be back it's not that it's not impossible they can bring him back anytime they want i talked about this it's not impossible for them to bring any characters back in tekken 7 they could bring back any legacy characters any dead character it doesn't matter if you're dead as long as they're in the game and people play them and as long as the games sell. So, go over, uh, so go watch Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. This is what he says. Go watch Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and see how they bring back their characters. Mortal Kombat almost bring back every dead character from MK9. And of course, there was a backstory for the return and also Kotal Khan was made by him. See, he is basically talking about Mortal Kombat. So Mortal Kombat had so many dead characters in Mankind 9, many characters were killed off in, Tekken, in Mortal Kombat 9. And they were brought back in Mortal Kombat X and then we were brought back in the recent Mortal Kombat 11. Right, so fighting games or any games uh, don't keep characters dead or uh, make their deaths official or canon. The, it might be the canon part of the story but as a playable character, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter as a playable character. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, so you guys get the gist of uh, gist of what I'm saying. So like, it's dead. The dead don't stay dead. <laughs> that's a good way to put. I'm gonna put this in the title, title of the video. In Tekken Seven or any fighting games, as far as we know, the dead don't stay dead. Okay, let's continue reading more, uh, more of his comments. It's, it's it's a bit long, but this is the final paragraph. Okay, let's get to the haters of ogre first they say always the same stupid reason ogre can't come back because he is dead blah 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 okay you are all right ogre can't come back because he is dead but why are they bitching over wang big or kunimitsu dlc characters wang basically died uh Bang died it might may or may uh, it, it, don't care if it's canon or non-canon kunimitsu vanished I, I don't know if kunimitsu died but kunimitsu randomly vanished big died but they want to get uh, the, that these dead characters back. So why can't these dead characters remain dead, right? Why can't these dead characters remain dead? I don't understand. Uh, that's what it's basically implying, and that's what I'm saying as well. So people want legacy characters who are dead back in uh, uh, pff, uh, Tekken Seven. But when you say Ogre is dead, people just be like, Ogre is dead. So I'm not per se talking about Ogre. I'm implying this to all of uh, to all of the. Tekken characters in general, dead or alive uh, Tekken characters in general. You, you might, uh, you might, you guys might get really upset over this video, but listen to me. I don't care, right? I don't care. I just want to put my thoughts out there. How, no matter how rude this might, guy must be, if you guys unsubscribe, subscribe, if you guys dislike, I don't care. But I just want to put this out there. So, yeah, that that's basically what he said. I'm, I'm gonna put the rest of the uh, his comment there as well. But that's the gist of his comment. He's saying that why can't if, if people want other dead characters to be back in Tekken 7, why can't Ogre come back in Tekken 7, right? He make, that makes sense. That makes sense. 
to, in my point of view, that makes sense. I don't know what you guys think. If you guys have any other further comments on this related matter, just let me know in the comments below. Um, so yeah, that's that's all I got to say for this video, guys. Um, I just wanted to put this out there. I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been thinking about this at work, in the bus. I've been thinking about it in the toilet. I've been thinking about it when I was taking a shower. You name it. Everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So if you guys uh, have a counterpart or, or a counter... Uh, or counter argument to this particular discussion that i put in there let me know in the comments below yeah that being said you guys are awesome stay safe peace legends never die when the world is calling you can you hear them scream